Okay, Tyler, this is uh, one of our releasers in a pump station buried six feet in the ground in an old grain bin. So there's a little bit of mold and such in here. Um, webbed gray pipe coming in, beat the heat. And you can see I got some 45s there. Those are uh, old banjo plastic 45s. Uh, did the trick though, got a one inch there line coming into the, it's an inch and a quarter opening for was an older setup and you can see 45 and they're all stacked in there that one with the 90 on it there's a about 25 taps on that one that comes in so we got a this is a wet and a dry system right here and we're pumping up 500 feet from here there's a pump line out right there. 500 feet in distance and about 30 feet vertical head. Works well. This has been down here for about 15 years with this type of setup. Obviously, we've changed releasers over the years. Um, got water right here. We have water that's, that's piped down here so we can wash the releaser. This is on off switch to be able to cycle the pump. Turn it on if you want to. We also have a valve here turns on a wash ball I can open the cover here the wash ball is actually out right now because we're making some modifications to that and you see there's some goo that's come down through the summer and we don't leave the pump in here throughout the year we take it out so it doesn't freeze or whatever, get broken before the season starts. Um, Rain van, light there, little ladder. Not much to it, but you know, it works well, it doesn't freeze. Down below ground level here.